All right, May 25th, 2020, preparing the ground under the mega trellis for planting of tomatoes. The first thing I did was lay out a layer of fertilizer. This is like a general purpose garden fertilizer. Um, we got an old bag that broke open, but it's a granulated thing, so it takes a while to break down. And I'm throwing it on the dirt now, and then I'm going to cover this up with some uh, compost and then leaf mulch uh, to keep the weeds down. But uh, the fertilizer on top of all that mulch takes a while to work its way down. So I throw this granulated fertilizer down first. And you can probably throw in too much, but I did it the uh, past couple years and it seemed to work. This is what a real wheelbarrow looks like, Russ. But this is also a uh, compost pile, leaves from two. 2018, a year and a half ago, uh, collected, cooked, turned over several times during the year. It's, it's leaves, pine needles, grass clippings, and it turns into, you really should do this for two years, but I'm pressing this stuff into service uh, now. But uh, you can kind of get an idea what a year and a half, which is basically one real summer, will do to this compost. Makes it nice and disgusting and stinky and I'm gonna cover the entire tomato area with a layer of this to keep the weeds down mostly but also to get this organic material back into the soil uh, the worms will do their work and break this stuff down for us but that's what a compost looks like and it does have a nice little stink to it when you pop it open but it works this is what organic material is all about all right, so I went and gathered up five real wheelbarrows full of compost. And I'm not talking about some Howard County, Indiana aluminum tubing wheelbarrow. I'm talking about a real American wheelbarrow. Five of them full of compost. And I tossed and spread, tossed it over the fence and spread it around. And let's call this, well, we know it's 19.4 feet, so we'll call it 20 since there's a little bit extra on each side. 20 feet long by, let's say, four foot spacing on the thing, a foot and a half feet, so seven feet wide. So that's 140 square feet. And the math would say five divided by 140 is 0 0.0357, 0 0.0357 wheelbarrows per square foot. So that's probably a universal constant on what you should use to spread your compost around. Okay, these are the leaves from last year, 2019. I'm gonna use those to top off the compost to keep it all matted down and provide the final layer of weed suppression. But I'm gonna throw this stuff into the wheelbarrow with a manure fork and if you're moving a lot of leaves and turning them over for compost this is by far the best tool so get one of those the leaves are uh oak leaves red oak white oak quercus alba quercus rubra pinus strobus eastern white pine and uh boy several kinds of maple river birch white birch shagbark hickory and even some uh if we find them once in a while the long uh uh, eastern chestnut. Got a few of those struggling along from roots from 50 years ago along the fence and they still keep coming up and dying and throwing their leaves in my yard. So this is what we'll turn into the uh, top layer for the tomato garden. All right, we've now established that it takes two real wheelbarrows full of last year's leaves to cover 140 square feet of tomato bed to help suppress the leaves. And if we do the math on that, that's two wheelbarrows divided by 140 square feet, zero point zero zero point zero one four cloud three. Zero point zero one four three wheelbarrows per square foot of tomato garden. So we've established another Universal constant. Apologies for not doing the fertilizer earlier. Didn't think of it at the time. Should have done it next year. Okay. 
and a little path running down the middle.